A processor is a piece of hardware that is sometimes called the brains of a computer. This is because it is the part that receives inputs, runs programs and gives outputs. All computers and digital devices have processors, which vary in speed and power depending on their use and purpose. So, a processor used in a mobile phone will be much smaller and less powerful than one used in a supercomputer that predicts the weather or helps send rockets into space. A computer cannot work without the processor. And as the BBC Microbit is a small pocket-sized computer, it has a microprocessor. This means it is a tiny electronic component with less power than a normal computer processor, which is one of the reasons your microbit is so small and can run on batteries. The microbit processor runs on the programs you create for your microbit. So, when you write a program in one of the online editors, then transfer it to your microbit, the processor is where your program runs. The processor fetches its instructions, the program you've written, from its memory decodes them, decides what they mean, and executes them, carries out your instructions. So, if you write a program to instruct your microbit to flash a heart shape three times on the LED when button A is pressed, the processor detects the electrical current made when you press the button, fetches the instruction in the program that tells it what action to take, and then carries out the instruction. The LEDs will flash a heart three times. The processor also contains the microbit's temperature sensor. So when you use the microbit's temperature function, you can see how warm or cool the processor is. So you see, the microprocessor is a really vital part of your microbit. <laughs>